Hello Internet and welcome to a short video for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Now I just wanted to touch briefly on what's going on with Current Experimental because it's going to affect my upcoming shows and because some of you are already noticing problems. So firstly, if you don't know, this series you're watching here is called Experimental Cataclysm. It's where I dump my videos that are about the development of the game. Most of the time, this show involves us going over change logs and talking about updates that have come to the game. I plan to resume this series in the very near future now that we've had the stable release out of the way and development is going to start rolling again. And I've done this before, I put the show on hiatus back when 0.E was being released, uh, just for instance, uh, but this time though, things are a little bit different with our updates. So basically, rather than putting everything on hold until the stable was released, the dev team had instead created a new branch and was merging changes to it over the last few months. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically, now that 0.F has been released, when you first update your game to the newest experimentals, there will be dozens and dozens of changes that will be added to your game all at once. Now, many of you have probably already done this, and you've probably noticed, well, there are some differences. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to go back and cover all of the previous changes that have been made. I really don't know, we'll figure that out once the series starts rolling again. But let's talk about the impact that it's going to have on you when you update. Many people have already come to the Discord and things to talk about the issues that they're having with the game. There's one in particular that is very obvious and it seems to be a point of frustration for a large percentage of the player base, which is the main reason I'm making this video today. So we have a new feature in the game that will allow tile set makers to create tiles for the map screen. Now previously, the map screen in the game was all ASCII characters, meaning that letters and symbols represented everything on our map. There was also a graphical overmap mod which you could install and it would address this by adding little images to the map instead of the letters and symbols. However, it was recently made so that in the vanilla game, the map screen can use little sprites. Now these will be based on whatever tile set you're using. So if you use Altica, you will have certain pictures on the map screen, whereas someone who plays Retro Days would have a completely different map. So in the future, as this continues to develop, the map that you see on your map screen will look different depending on which tile set you have enabled. So that sounds great, right? Why is this an issue? Why are so many people upset about it? Well, in Cataclysm, whenever you have something that wants to display an image in the game, it follows a pretty simple process. Let's say we're looking at a fat zombie. Now the game will say, hey, okay, is there a tile for the fat zombie in this particular tile set? If the answer is yes, then it will display that sprite. If the answer is no and there is no sprite, it uses a fallback tile, which is typically our ASCII tile set. So now when the game is on the map, it looks for a road tile, for instance. If the tile set doesn't have one, which most of them don't at the moment because this is a very new feature, it tries to fall back to the ASCII tile that would normally be displayed. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's no fallback for a road. So instead, it displays a different character instead of the road tile that it would normally display. Now unfortunately, because this is a very recent addition, this broke basically every tile set with the exception of, I mean, Retro Days looks pretty good at the moment, probably the best one at the moment, but all the other tile sets though, they're pretty messed up and we're getting a constant flood of people coming in to ask about it or complain about it. The main issue here, again, are the tiles that don't have any fallback tile, which is most noticeably, you'll notice the roads, the forest, things like that. Many of the buildings will still display the way they used to, but there are also very obvious tiles that don't do this. And this has naturally made people pretty upset with the way things are. Now the main complaint I'm seeing is that there is no way to toggle this display off and return to the old ASCII map. People are understandably frustrated by this. Now I imagine that that will quickly change as they work to add missing tiles, but people are, you know, completely understandably unhappy with the way things are and the lack of ability to disable the new feature. So what can you do to fix this? Well, li literally nothing. Unless you're someone who works on tile sets and wants to contribute, which, I mean, I highly encourage you to contribute if that's within your abilities. But unless you're contributing tiles, there's really nothing you can do. Now the devs are aware of these issues and they are currently looking into why these fallback tiles are not being displayed. But again, that's really something that most of us players can't actually help with. Now I don't want to speak for the devs, but they seem open to the possibility of adding a toggle that would disable this feature, at least for the time being. In the future, I think this option would disappear, it would just be a temporary thing to tide people over while the sprites play catch up. 
And really, honestly, this is kind of what you sign up for. A lot of people don't seem to understand that experimental is, I mean, you know, it's, it's buggy, it lacks polish at times. This is what you sign up for when you play experimental. If you don't want bugs and issues and partially implemented features, then you should be playing the stable version of the game. Yes, it's frustrating, of course, and it's totally understandable to be frustrated by these sort of things. And yes, in my opinion, they should have added a way to revert to the old ASCII map until things got sorted out. But that also does not give you the right to trash the game or the dev team, which I've seen, I mean, I guess not a lot of people, but I've definitely seen some people come in shrieking about this problem. Features being implemented into experimental are always rough at the start. Nested containers, which was a massive and really great change, was pretty awful for the first few weeks while we figured things out. They added item length and big bags and all kinds of stuff to fix what were kind of glaring issues with the initial implementation. This map is a great feature, it just needs some time to be polished and we need to understand why the fallback tiles are not working. So I don't know, many of you will write me off here, but you just need to be patient. The dev team, contrary to the loud and pointless opinions of the venomous people in our community, they're trying to make this game fantastic. Nobody's out to get you, they're not trying to punish you, you know, they're working on building up the game. And when you play experimental, you see the rough side of things as they are trying to polish this into a gem. Alright, I don't know, I probably rambled a bit here, hang in there, please don't be aggressively negative, have a little understanding, and I will keep you posted as things develop. For now though, I just wanted to make you aware of this issue and give you a brief explanation of why it was happening. Thanks for watching the video, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.